Check out this little guy. That should buff out. What's up everybody? My name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Ballistics and it's Full Auto Friday. We're back out on the range and we're gonna have some fun with body armor today. It's gonna be a short video, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I've got a lot of level two body armor that's been laying around and I thought, I wonder if I stack all those together, if we could stop a rifle round. So that's what we've done. Let me show you what we got real quick and then we're gonna get started. All right, Ken folk, this is what we got. I have six layers of level 2A body armor. So 2A stops like up to a 40 cal, I think maybe 357 Magnum. Not 100% sure, but it doesn't stop much. Just pistol rounds, not rated for rifle rounds. So I've got six layers of that. And then I've got this guy. This is uh, made by ATS Armor. And it's a thin little plate, but it's also only rated for pistol rounds. So I've got them all duct taped together. And we're gonna set them up over here and we're gonna see if this will stop a 5.56. Okay, I got the armor set up. I've got the full auto AR and attached is my 90 round snail drum and it's full of PMC bronze 5.56 full metal jackets. Now, before we just blast this armor, let's shoot it one time and see if our many layers of pistol armor can stop a rifle round. But before we do that, I wanna say thank you to Sportsman's Guide for sponsoring today's video. If you need anything that would be considered outdoor recreation, be sure and check them out. And if you do, make sure you use coupon code KBALLISTICS. It'll get you $20 off any merchandise order that's $100 or more. Glasses are already so foggy. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go put this somewhere safe. Let's check out our armor. Oh, wow. <laughs> I am really surprised right now. I thought there's no way. There's no way this is going to stop it, but it did. Here is the entrance hole, and we do not have an exit hole. <laughs> now the question is, how many layers did it take? I really hate to uh, open all this up. Oh, wow. Okay, so I forgot I had two little soft trauma plates in there, too, and I'm pretty sure those are not rated to stop a rifle. Uh, but we went through this plate, and then we went through that uh, soft armor little trauma plate. And then it looks like we stopped in the second one. Kind of got me thinking what else this will stop, but uh, I only brought the AR. Okay, it stopped one round, but will it stop 90 rounds? Let's find out. Woo -wee. and then it took the last few rounds. That was awesome. Okay, well, kind of bummed that it fell down because I kept shooting it. <laughs> so it took a few rounds from up top. You can see right there. But uh, really curious to see how many of this stopped. So here's the first plate. I want to cut that. So these took quite a few. Oh, that is hot. There is a lot in there, but we did have some make it through these two little soft plates. All right, so that's number four. Number five. I really duct taped this good. All right, number six. There's some rounds, looky there. Stopped on number seven. <laughs> number seven. Here's number eight. Here's a piece of, uh, well, that's like half a bullet. So here's number eight. We still had some still going. And into number nine. I mean, if we're just focusing on this middle spot here where most of the protection was, because there was more protection in the middle than there was on the sides, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, ten or twelve rounds. Some of these maybe doubles out of ninety. I mean, it stopped quite a bit. 
Well, I'm pretty surprised with the results. I didn't expect that pistol armor to stop. Ah, horsefly! Uh, anyways, I didn't expect that pistol armor to stop even one 5.56 five, round, but it did. It took the one pistol hard plate and then two layers of soft armor to stop one 5.56 five, full metal jacket. Really surprising, but of course it did not stop all 90 rounds and I didn't expect it to. We had about 10 or 13 make it all the way through the armor. Do you wanna see this test again with different rifle calibers against pistol armor, but this time just shoot it once and give the armor a fair shake? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Ken Folk, if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics and you're new to the channel, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you check me out on Patreon Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time. All right, let's head to the house. Oh, dang it! <laughs>